Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today we're gonna do um, what we should get at Sephora for the, the sale. And I'm not gonna be able to get anything at Sephora um, for the 30% the off for the Sephora collection or my 10% off uh, anything at Sephora because I'm not watching my needs anymore and I gotta be smart with my money and honestly, I can't afford it anymore. So I'm gonna just show you stuff that I've had over the years, that I've had for a few months, some over a year. I don't know, it's products that I've had for a while that I would pick up if I could and things that I think that you guys will love. So I'm gonna start off with um, foundations. So right now, you're still able to, you're still are able to go get the 30% off at Sephora. I think it ends on the 15th. So I recommend you trying the Sephora Best Skin Ever Foundation if you like something more natural, but it still gives you enough coverage and it just makes your skin look so glowy and smooth and healthy. I recommend this. And I also recommend their concealers. I run out of that one, but honestly, their concealers is one of the best concealers I've ever tried. And they're only, I think, $12, $12 or $15. But yeah, I recommend oh yeah it's here but yeah i recommend that so i'm going to show you instead of every foundation i'm going to show you everything from sephora collection and then the other stuff so yeah so i recommend this i recommend this concealer i also recommend their sephora micro smooth multitasking baked face powder and this is so smooth as you can see i'm like i already i already hit pan i don't have that much left but right now these run for seven dollars and with the 30 percent off i think you get them for five dollars and honestly i wanted to go to go get a dark shade to use as a bronzer but i don't know they might be sold out i don't know and i think they've changed the formula i think at least that's what i heard i don't know honestly guys i recommend it and, and if i recommend anything from the sephora collection if, if you could only pick one thing i would choose this it just leaves your skin looking so smooth glowy i don't know i just love this product so much so i hope they're not selling out and it's just because they came out with a new formula and hopefully it didn't change the formula i don't know because i heard that they changed the formula but i really hope they didn't but yeah i want to pick up a really dark shade for bronzer but yeah i recommend the micro smooth powder and i also recommend their matte powder and this one's the sephora matte perfection powder foundation and this one I still have a lot in here. And this one is just more of a full coverage matte foundation. This one is more glowy, lightweight. So yeah. But I recommend both of them, guys. They're really good. And I think this one runs for $20. I think they both run for $20. But like I said, right now these are $7 without the even the 30% off. So they're $7 and then you still can add the 30% off. So I recommend you to pick this up. Okay, so yeah, that's all the Sephora collection products. And now I'm going to start off randomly with the products. Let's start with Mario. So I honestly recommend the Mario, the Makeup by Mario um, eyeshadow palette. This is what I use every single day. And I'm just obsessed with all these colors. As you can see, uh, I don't know. I just love it. Chase! Hold on, guys. I can't pause the video because it's not letting me um, add clips. Um, if I use my little app that I have. So just give me a minute. I just want to make sure they're not playing in the tub. My cats are so, <laughs> so sad. Okay, they get into everything. But anyways, yeah, so I recommend this if you like you know, getting smoky eyes or natural looks. But I'm not gonna lie, I do miss my bright shades, my bright colors, because I give my palettes to my sister. So I don't have nothing with pink, purple, blue. So I kinda wanna get a colorful palette, but I don't know from where, maybe from Marshalls or TJ Maxx, but yeah. But this is like an everyday thing. And I also recommend, even though I forgot to bring it, it's in my room, the Anastasia Beverly Hills, um, what is it called? The, I forgot the palette, the, the one that looks like a, a tan, 
and it has all basically the same shades i recommend that one okay another makeup by mario i recommend is their um their soft pop soft pop plumping blush veil cream blush and especially this one because i've only had this one it's the perfect pink if you love pink i recommend this and i've had it for a while and look how much i still have in there it's just a little messy but it's such a beautiful pink i am obsessed with this product i recommend everything by makeup by mario i love i just finished their foundation and i recommend that one too i don't know i just love everything from makeup by mario and the last thing from makeup by mario is this one this uh soft sculpt shaping or shaping stick and this stuff i've had it for a long time and i'm running out and if you like to contour do cream contour contouring this is the product for you i'm obsessed with this it looks like that because i've been using it so much but it's just a good formula it's a little more drying to blend but i like that because i don't know i just like how it looks so nice so yeah this is another product i recommend on the sales and i also recommend this fenty i mean not fenty rare beauty um and this one's called um a bronzing stick and this shade is always sunny and i love this one because it's a very warm shade i love but as you can see i finished it but i can still kind of scrape that off but this is one of my favorite ones and it's very smooth it's so easy to blend i don't know i'm just obsessed with this product and i'm sad that i finished it but it's something that i would repurchase again if i could and i feel like if you love a very bronze bronzy super easy to blend like super super um what is the word like i don't know because it's more like tired of blending it's more like drying this is like the opposite of drying it's just so smooth it's one of my favorite products i recommend from rare beauty okay and then i also recommend this foundation from fenty beauty this one um it does oxidize that's the only thing it does oxidize but it's just the more i've been wearing it the more i love it and it's just so smooth like you just have to add a little bit because it is a matte but like not a super matte foundation but it is matte so you don't want to overdo it but it's just a beautiful a beautiful uh foundation i recommend another thing from fenty i recommend um their what are they called the velvet liquid lipsticks even though they do transfer, they're not like matte proof or whatever, but I love, love how they make my lips look. And this, especially the shade um, Brewery. I just love this shade so much. I finished it, but I'm still able to get a little bit of it out every time. But this is something that I recommend, especially this shade is bomb. Yes. And another Fenty product I recommend is their gloss bomb i think this is the gloss bomb heat fussy heat and i love these glosses like they smell good they're so glossy they're beautiful this shade is so beautiful and i recommend their glosses they're bomb okay the next thing or oh, another anastasia beverly hills well i don't think that shows me no anything from anastasia beverly hills i recommend this lipstick even though i was like oh i'm not into this shade but today i'm using it with the lip liner and i'm obsessed i just needed to use it with the lip liner because by itself it looks crazy but with lip liner it looks good look how smooth and flawless it leaves your lips like i am obsessed now that i've been using it with lip liner so yeah this is the anastasia beverly hills um velvet it's a lip velvet and i have it in peachy nude recommend it they're the same kind of formula they're, these are a little more drying and these are less drying but they're still not lips uh, matte proof you know they will still transfer like especially on my uh water bottle when i use you know obviously i drink it from the straw it does make it messy that's the only thing but i do love the formula i like how it makes my lips feel okay another product i recommend is the one size turn up the base bbb cream and i'm obsessed like I still have a little bit left and i've had this forever if you love a full coverage foundation that looks so smooth 
and it's more of a I feel like a whip kind of feel I recommend this it's such a beautiful foundation and um, you know uh, this is one of my favorite ones so that, and I also recommend the NARS soft matte foundation that's one of my favorite ones I've only purchased it once and I still can't think stop thinking about it I want to get it someday because it's bomb okay and i've had it in my video before my channel i've had a few foundations from nars on my channel before so if you want to check them out okay another thing i recommend is this makeup forever uh, foundation powder and it's the h skin matte velvet and this i was using it every single day the only thing i don't think i got the right shade but i still used it up as you can see and this one will give you full coverage. You don't even have to use the liquid foundation to use this. I think you can use this by itself and it's going to give you full coverage. A very smooth um, finish. But I like to use it over um, front liquid foundation because I, I don't know. I, I'm, that's just me. But it's, it's a really good product. A really good powder to use if you want a full coverage foundation. And it's finish. Okay. The next thing that I would recommend is this other um what is it called it basically another cream bronzer or contour and this is in no limits and it's the lys and this one is so creamy and very pigmented super creamy super pigmented and this is more of a like contouring shade i wish i would have gotten more of a bronzing stick because i love this formula and it's like 20 dollars so if you don't want to pay, uh, this one's not that expensive, but it's way cheaper than this. It's $10 cheaper. And this is the most pricey one, the Makeup by Mario. So if you don't want to pay, if you want to get the cheapest uh, product, like the one that costs the least, I would recommend the LYS because it's super creamy, so easy to blend. You only need to add a little bit because it's so pigmented. And I'm obsessed. Okay, another product that I recommend is the Hula Caramel Benefit Bronzer. <laughs> My cat, sorry if you can hear them, they're running everywhere, but this is super pigmented. You need to be very careful with this because this one can become very muddy very fast. And I do need to practice more because I have a very heavy hand, very heavy handed, and I always put more than I should. So with this one, just be careful to apply too much because it's very pigmented, but it's bomb. Okay, another product is this spray. Say, I don't know how to. I'm so dirty. Sorry, guys. I don't know this. It's so beautiful. It's the Glow Soap Bronze Glow, and I'm using it today. And I'm super glowy. Maybe a little too glowy, but I don't know. I'm obsessed. And it's such a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful product. And it's very pigmented. If you only need to apply a little bit, I accidentally applied way too much with the brush. Or you can even apply it with your fingers. They have different shades. You can use one for highlighter. It's just a very, very beautiful product. So I recommend this brand is bomb. Another similar product is this one from Patrick Ta for face. And I gave my sister the one that has the bronzer, the cream and powder bronzer, which I regret because I love that one. But I hope she's using it because this one's not cheap. It's one of my favorites, but I gave it to her. But the one that I kept was this, I guess it's like a, they're blushes and it's called She So Alay. And I'm wearing them today as well. And it's like this. It's a little lighter than Josue, whatever the brand is. But I love very like um, burnt kind of shades. Yeah. Um, so with this, you use the powder first and then you use the cream, which I was never used to. And it's, I, it still needs to take me some practice because I'm still like, ugh, about it, you know? But they're so pigmented, so buttery, especially the cream. And it, the powder still has like a shimmer or a sheen. And it's just a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful formula. And they have different shades of the blushes. And yeah, but I recommend. And a foundation that I, another, not foundation, another bronzer that I love, even though this one's pricey, but this, once you want to get a new one, when you finish it, you pay less to get a uh, thing put in here. 
the pack, whatever the compact, no, I don't know how to say it, but is the Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Bronzer, and I got it in blue tan, and as you can see, I used it a lot, and this is what I'm using today, and this is so pigmented, you only need a little bit, because it's so pigmented, and this will last you forever, because look how big the pan is. And like I said, once you finish it, you get a new pan and they put it in the same compact and it's way cheaper. So yeah, and the last two things are lip products. So I recommend this ABH lip liner in Perchment. And I want to get their brown, what is it called? Cool brown? I forgot. And I heard that one goes with so many lipsticks, so I want to get that one next. But as you can see, I love this one. It's so tiny now. I recommend. The last two products, they're two different formulas, but they're the same brand, the same kind of thing, it's the same shade. So it's Buxom, and this is a full-on plumping limp, lip polish. So the polish just has some shimmer. It doesn't have a lot of pigment, but it has like a beautiful glossy shimmer. And then the, um, the what is it called? The, the full-on plumping lip cream it has colors it's thicker and it's still glossy but it's more of a cream gloss and they're both in the same shade they're both in dolly and these have lasted me forever this summer i'm going to try to use them up because i've had it for a long time and they smell delicious very minty uh, they're supposed to plump your lips which i don't think they do but i love how they look on the lips. These are products that I recommend 100%. So yeah, guys, that's everything that I would recommend for, for you to get at the Sephora sale right now and some of the uh, Sephora collection products. And yeah, so anyways, guys, um, I hope you guys are having a beautiful week. So thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Hit the notification bell so you're notified every time I post a video. And I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.